I got so carried away, then I completely forgot about my timer again. So 7.0 meters to two sig fig there. So that's the distance. Part B says, find the velocity at that time. Okay. So vertically, so S, uh, we know, was, was it 5.6? Well, S is minus 0.736. U is 3. V, we want. A is minus 9.8. T is 0.8. So use any one you want. So I'm going to use V equals U plus A T because it's easy. So that's 3 plus or minus 9.8 times 0.8. So that's going to be minus 4.84 meters per second. Put my units in, I keep forgetting. Horizontally, it's, it's, con it's continuous, it's the same. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to put me pause. Uh, sneezed. So horizontally, it's constant. Um, did we work out? Were we given that speed? Seven, isn't it? So V is seven. So it's uh, so the velocity as a vector will be seven across and minus four point eight four. So it's kind of traveling across and going down, or seven i minus four point eight four j. Now, does it want its speed and direction? So speed and direction is just Pythagoras and tan, isn't it? So it's kind of like it's going seven across and minus four point eight four. So for its speed, it's the square root of 7 squared plus 4.84 4 squared. Pack says to 2 sig fig is 8.5 meters per second. And then if I want theta, so tan theta is 4.84 over 7, uh, which gives us an angle of 34.6 degrees so 35 degrees to 2 sig thick. So it's traveling at a speed of 8.5 meters per second uh, at 35 degrees, if you can read that, below the horizontal. Yeah. That's that one done. Is there a question for you on the next page? Oh no, there's another example, isn't there? So really I need to um, stop this video to do this example and start afresh. Bye-bye.